things were going all right for a while with me, and uh, I got, got booted out of 6-2, and uh, minding my own business, sitting around bothering no one, nobody, you know, and the, and the shit hit the fan again. These guys have got their clique up on the second floor, and they, they try to dominate all the rest of the inmates in the same house. You know what I mean? I don't see why. They, they go ahead one-on-one -on -one and try to dominate the other guy and try to prove something to everybody else. They, get, they gang up out on the street there, and in here they think that they're gangsters all over again. They try to, to strong-arm the other guy and uh, poke fun at another man and try to make another guy look like a fool. I just uh, moved off of the second floor. Now I'm back on the third floor, and I'm still in hot water up on the on the third floor be because I, I just I just I don't have um, peace of mind where I am, and that's and that's it. Uh, these guys were running up on the third floor. I mean, I don't associate with none of them. They say hi, and I say hi, and. And that's about it. I go to my room and that's it. It says, uh, no more of these open units for me. And I was, I was getting along beautiful when I first came down here. I was, I was in an open unit. I was getting along beautiful. I've been on this unit for uh, six months. Now. But this, this week, I, uh, I, I, just, I just want out of it. I mean, through the, through the last game of the series, I'm sitting there. These guys congregate down at the back where I sat. You know, I, I sat by myself. They come down there, and they look around, and they begin pointing at certain guys there. And, and they make fun behind their backs. And they say, well, look at Conrad. He's, he's hiding behind there. I see all of this shit. You know what I mean? And uh, naturally, this guy just got back from, uh, he was here before, and uh, he wrapped up his time, and now he's back on a new bit. So I knew him down here when he was uh, back in 6-3, and he's in my unit now. Uh, and, um, naturally, he associates with me because, because he knows me, and I know him. And uh, he came over and sat down beside me, and uh, before he sat down, uh, Naturally, these guys are uh, blowing a little fun his way. But he didn't know about it. And he, he came down and sat beside me. They all looked over his way. And uh, I was looking directly at them, you know. So I told him, hey, we got some maggots here today. They like to make fun of you behind your back, but they, they, won't, uh, they won't do it to your face. And I said, uh, said it loud enough for them to hear me. Why did I say it loud enough for them to hear me? To see, uh, to see, 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 see what, what could be done about it. I was, I was challenging them. That's right. Right there on the spot. They weren't making fun of me. But that's what, that's what, that's what irritates. Uh, I, I don't like that, being around people like that. I was letting this guy know that, that, that he was being made fun of by them guys. I was there to back up the plate anytime, anytime, you know what I mean? But Conrad, Conrad just, uh, how come he says, people like that you gotta ignore it. He says, they don't got the balls to tell you to your face what they think of you, they gotta go behind your back, so I mean you gotta ignore it. I mean stuff like that, I just don't like to be around. 